Obscurus channels. What's this about a convoy? Obscurus caught the monster and they're moving it by truck. I'm going after him. I'll patch you into the radio chat. Should help your pursuit. There's something else. I think Calder might be the monster's name. That sounds like a man, not a monster. I'll look into it. Sounds like someone's attacking the convoy. Can you tell me who? I don't know. Maybe Tom's been? Pretty gutsy for a bunch of farmers. One zombie outbreak. Yeah, that was me! Sorry! Once again, will you be ready? White Rook is proud to introduce Zombie Safe for the forward thinking consumer. Every Zombie Safe is equipped with sinks and low flow toilets with independent water supplies. The fully modular interiors can be used to store weapons, precious jewelry, canned goods, family heirlooms, or can be furnished with all the comforts of home. Zombie safe for the forward-thinking consumer. What the hell is going on here? I need to take some notes. The smell of burning corpses. Suck or some bad shit's going down. 
Gear this one. I will take you out. Brad, I found the container truck. There's something not right, though. I'm gonna investigate. Don't get eaten, Frank. Good advice. Thank you for that. Hey, you! Lend a hand, will ya? Oh, God. You're Frank. West. Look, uh, I'm in bad shape here. I need morphine. There's some... At the North Peak safe house. If you grab me a few hits, I'll tell you what we were hauling. Deal? Deal? All right, all right, I'll think about it. Frank, it's Paula. I got some more interesting leads for you. Sending you the details now. <laughs> We have your peace of mind in mind. Chakra Flex Yoga. Have a namaste. This holiday season, be sure to catch the action one shot at a time. At Cameron's Cameras.
Well, that figures. Those are popular. Shipping it out of town for R&D purposes. Interesting. Okay. If you find a blanket or some booze, yeah, I just... All right. Now, what the hell is going on here? This door was punched out from the inside. What the hell did this? Absolutely no idea. But whatever it is, it's Godzilla strong, has friends, and sports a serious hate on for Obscurus. I'm gonna... What was that? My Pulitzer. You gotta go. Now, where'd you run off to?
I'm seeing train cars strewn everywhere. You think Calder did that? God, I hope so. <laughs> <clears throat> No. into the old sewer tunnels. Brad, you there? Shit. Don't worry, Frank. Nothing bad ever happens in the sewers, right? Well, at least I know I'm going the right way.
Is this going to be an on-the-record conversation, Dr. Blackburn? Tell the ZDC I want to be evacuated by helicopter in the next 48 hours. In exchange, I have information. I'll see what I can do. Until then, why don't you whet my appetite a little? I didn't start the outbreak, Mr. West. We were here long before that. Years before. Do you remember a certain scientist by the name of... Doctor? Dr. Blackburn. Hmm, that did not sound good. Frank, I just got word that people are being held prisoner at the pirate ship in Caribbean Cove. Better go check it out, in case they do something crazy. This should be interesting.
make some notes here. A marketing pirate takes over Caribbean Cove. Harmless promotional stunt or more water fountains laced with mine altering chemicals?
right, man? Yeah. I am heading back to the shelter where it's safe.
on the fritz, dump it on us, the brain dump. We do data recovery, point transfers, monitor installations, and so much more. Find us in old. Hey, Brad, can you arrange a covert evac for an obscure scientist? That would be my pleasure. In the meantime, I caught another one of Vic's reports. Take a listen. Heard the ambush ended with gunfire. I have no idea if Hammond made it out alive. The end justifies the means, right? Using people as resources to get the next piece of the story? I keep thinking, this is exactly what Frank would do. <laughs> yes, Vic, I am all the evils in the world. Well, you did leave a helpless man tied up in a dark room 20 feet from a live firefight. Whatever! not conspiring with a paramilitary group. Not doing that, Vic. That's not what I'm doing. And I'm not torturing a woman for a quote while a bunch of trigger-happy jarheads guard the door. I'm not doing that either. Get That's not what I'm here. Shut up! That's not what I'm doing. What are you doing? Because I'm having a hard time seeing it. I am trying to figure out who these soldiers are working for, how the outbreak began, and what these assholes did. You sold out Hammond and her people. They almost got killed. Do you know that? Are you aware of that? The commander issued a no-kill order, and then Tom's people attacked first. And you believe that? How fucking naive are you? Hello? Shut it! What's this about? You're the big story, right? The big scoop. <laughs> this is what this is all about for you, isn't it? Just take what you want and cash the check. Get out of here, rookie. Poacher. That's all you'll ever be. We need to get out of here. They could come back. Who was that? Friend of yours? Just some troubled youth. What do you want to tell me? Our research at Obscurus, it's all based on a project that was abandoned 15 years ago. 15 years? That's back to the original outbreak. Yes, this project was performed at a secret laboratory hidden somewhere here in Willamette. And let me guess, Obscurus has been looking for this secret laboratory. Obsessively. The work that went on there, it has the potential to change the very nature of human existence. Wow, shit. Here, look. Take a picture if you want. Oh, that's Dr. Barnaby. He basically created zombieism. The secret laboratory and the research project were both his, and both were abandoned on his death in 2006. You know where the lab is, don't you? We were colleagues. For years. I swear on the soul of my SLR, if you tell me where the lab is, I will buy you a helicopter. Then go to the Golden Apple Winery. Barnaby built it as a front to hide the lab. 
Look in the cellar. I'll do that. But I have one more question, Dr. Blackburn. What's with the cat? What? Oh, he loved that fucking cat. Now listen. All the fighting will have attracted the horde. There's an exosuit in the other room. Put it on and draw them off so I can escape. Go. Oh, I think... Let's do this. Oh yeah. Go on. Now way. we're playing with power. Draw them off. User friendly.
secret lab, where would I be? Wow, that's dark. Guess I'll just wait for my eyes to adjust. <laughs> What the hell happened over there? Ah, better. Promising. Ah, better. Hey Brad, I found the lab. Obscurus was already here, though. They leave anything behind? Yeah, maybe. Mr. Flamel, what the fuck is this? Huh? <laughs> I guess Barnaby really did love his cat. The files are all gone, shit! Barbie's computer stuff. I ever love to get my hands on that. Damn it! It looks like Obscurus confiscated everything. Makes sense. They keep it in some kind of intelligence lockup. Probably at the base. Oh, right. So all I need to do is penetrate a fortress filled with trained assassins and steal their shit. Great. Well, hold on. There's another door. I wonder. F-L-A-M-E-L. Barnaby, you huge idiot. Holy shit. Okay, pictures. Lots of pictures.
time you've heard of me. Calder. I don't know what it is. Big, that's for sure. And it's got friends. Some kind of new zombie, smart zombie, murder zombie? I don't know. Note to self, come up with a better name than murder zombie. Then I was contacted by Dr. Diane Blackburn, an obscure scientist and a one-time associate of Dr. Barnaby. Yeah, you remember that old fruit, right? Basically invented zombieism? Died years back in the original Willamette outbreak? His personal notes and research were never found. Blackburn told me about a secret lab up at the Golden Apple Winery. I checked it out. Weird science, weird zombies, weird, weird, and more weird. Basically, I got nothing for it. Obscurus had already taken all of Barnaby's files. Whatever he was working on, Obscurus wanted it bad. Real bad. And that means it's got to be real good. All right, I need to get Barnaby's research back from Obscurus. 